Hello, welcome to the next class in our COVID recovery series. And again, these classes are accessible to those who have been feeling sick because they're a mixture of gentle practice and meditation and breathing exercises. But feel free to experiment with these classes if you're not specifically with COVID or recovering from COVID. Today we're working with the element of fire in our practice. So if you've been feeling anger or self-doubt or defensive, this might be a good practice. And on the other end of the spectrum, if you've been feeling kind of lack of motivation, stagnation, this might be a good practice too. Working with the element of fire doesn't mean that we are only working on building heat in the practice, but we're trying to build fire as in the power of transformation. So bringing a little bit of fiery practice in helps us to bring alive our bodies and our energy bodies and bring about transformation within ourselves. So we're going to start on our backs. If you have a mat, get on your mat. If you have a blanket, you can lay on your blanket. Start on your back with the legs up but the knees soft. Have your legs less than 90 degrees so that you feel the low back touching the ground. Let your legs kind of feel like they're dangling in the air. Slowly start to make circles like you're drawing circles with your feet on the ceiling. A little bit of a massage for the low back. Low back, upper hips, upper glutes. Move your legs around in a circle. And then go in the other direction. Bring your legs back to center and slowly lower your feet to the ground. Lift your hips and tuck your tailbone and lay your back back down onto the ground. Lift your hips back up and slide your hands under the glutes and lower your hips on top of your hands. Lift your legs up again, low back flat, and start to move your legs away from you and back towards you. Start to connect to your breath here. And lowering your legs as much as you can without lifting your ribs or your low back off the mat. So that might be pretty close to the ground for some or maybe more like 35, 40 degrees for others. So play around here. Move your legs away from you and back towards you. Exhaling away, inhaling the legs back towards you. And do three more. Pushing down through the torso as you lower your legs away from you, and then bringing them back slowly without rushing. And the next time that you bring your knees back up, give yourself a hug, and rock a little bit from side to side. Knees in towards the torso, rolling out the back. We're going to keep the knees in close, but hold on to the right shin and extend the left leg away from you. Heel on the ground, both feet flexed. 
and then slowly lift your head and neck and shoulders. Pause here. Lower your head back down. Bring your left knee in and switch your sides. Hug the left knee and shin. Extend the right leg away from you. Both feet flex. And then slowly lift yourself up. Breathe a couple breaths. Try to relax your face. And then slowly lower your head back down, bring both knees in. Start to alternate, hugging the right knee in, extending the left leg away from you, and then switching to the other side. And this can be done with lots of different options. You can hug the right knee and lower the left heel all the way down. Same with the left leg and the right heel with your head on the ground. You can start to lift your head and your shoulders off the ground. You can also stay with the heels off the ground. So just moving the legs. Hugging the knee in as you extend through the other opposite leg. And the next time that you have the right leg in, Keep it in, lower your left heel all the way down, and give yourself a twist. Bring the right leg across the body. Give your right shoulder a couple circles. And extend the right arm to the right, using any props to support the right hand or the right leg. Two more breaths. And then coming back to center. Bring both knees in, hug the left shin and extend the right leg away from you. Heel all the way down. And then slowly bring the left knee across your body. Shoulder circles with the left arm. Couple big circles lubricating the joint and then extend your arm away from you right hand on the left leg feeling like your knee left knee and left fingertips are extending in opposite directions relax breathing And final breath. Come back to center. Hug the knees in, lift your head, squeeze in. And then slowly make your way to seated. You can roll to one side or you can rock yourself up to seated. Come to a seated posture. Always helpful to sit up onto a block or a blanket to help elevate the hips. With your spine long, close your eyes and notice the benefits of our practice already. Moving the hips around, moving the spine around, connecting to your breath, what benefits you already feel. We're going to Practice a breathing exercise together, Bastrika breath. So in this breathing exercise, we're going to inhale sharply and exhale sharply. And we're going to continue doing that. But what I don't want you to feel is lightheaded or like you're running out of breath. So we're going to do three rounds with normal breathing in between the rounds. So please check in with yourself as you're doing this. If you start to feel short of breath, or dizzy, that's your indication to stop and take a few calming breaths. So the breath is like this. We'll do round one and two together, inhaling and exhaling.
ahead and release, breathe in and out. Observe the mind. And you can play around on the second round. If that was quite slow, you can speed it up. Think about inflating the belly and then pushing the breath, breath out, drawing your navel back. So we'll do round two. Inhale to begin. Release, take a breath in. And exhale. Relax the muscles in your face, your shoulders, your hips. Breathe normally. And we're going to do one last round, taking several rounds of inhaling and exhaling sharply to create heat in the body. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Sit here for a moment with your eyes closed, observe your mind, bring your breath back to normal. Feel the belly warm, energy moving. And then we'll come on to our hands and knees. Finding tabletop, moving your props for now, spreading your fingers, stacking hips over the knees and shoulders, over your wrists, and start to move your spine with your breath, smoothly breathing in, arching the back, smoothly breathing out, rounding the back. Take a few rounds. Keep not only your wrist connected to the ground, but the whole perimeter of your hand. And use these moments to connect to how your body's moving today, how your breath is moving, where you're feeling tension. Let this be a check-in, a warm-up. Last one. And come back to center. Walk your knees together and extend the right leg back like your crown and your right foot are reaching away from each other. Press into the hands and breathe in. And exhale, bring your knee in towards you. You can round the back, maybe bring your nose or forehead towards the knee and then inhale, reach out. Crown and foot reaching away from each other. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, curl in. On the next breath in, extend your right leg and extend your left arm. Find your balance between your right hand and your left knee. And exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend out. And exhale, maybe tap your right foot with your left hand. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Maybe tapping, but bring the knee and the elbow closer together. Inhale, reach away from each other. And exhale, tap your back foot. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You can stay here or you can add in the bind. If you are easily grabbing your foot, you can reach back, hold the right foot, press into your knee, your right hand, open your chest. Move your right shoulder and your right ear away from each other. Take a breath in. And exhale, release hand down, knee down. Move your hips at any organic movement in here. We'll do the other side. Left leg extends, and at the same time, extend through your spine, extend through your neck and the crown of your head. Breathe in. Exhale, knee in. Forehead towards the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, crown and foot reach away from each other. Exhale, curl in. 
Inhale, extend the leg and the right arm. Find your balance. Exhale, bring your elbow and knee closer together. And inhale, extend away. And exhale, tap your left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, tap. Inhale, stay here, or you can reach back and hold the left foot. If you hold it easily, kick your foot into your hand, stretch the right shoulder. Press down through the right shin, left hand. And take a breath in. And exhale, release your hand and release your knee. Flip your hands and stretch out the backs of your wrists. You can sit back towards your heels. You can do this one at a time if this is really sharp. Flip your hands the other way. So turn your fingers back towards your knees and stretch out the forearms, the wrists, the fingers. If this feels okay, sit onto your heels, but if not, do this one at a time. Slowly release and come up onto your knees. You can pad your mat, double fold your mat, shoulders over your knees. Bring your hands to the sacrum, the low back, fingers facing down, and slowly press your hips forward. Stretch out through the fronts of the thighs, the hip flexors. Your chin can be towards your chest. You can slowly look up towards the ceiling or look back. Press the hips forward and extend your chest up towards the ceiling at the same time. Breathe in and come upright. And then bring your hands down and return to tabletop or extend your legs back for plank pose. Heels pressing back and crown reaching forward. Space for the low back. And then slowly lower to your mat. You can lower your knees first, always, but lower all the way down. Put your belly down and your chest down and your forehead down. Lift just the legs and then lower them down and lift just the head and then lower down. And then lift your head and your feet and your hands off the mat. Breathe into your belly. Breathe in. And then exhale, release, and come into downward facing dog. You can walk your feet to an appropriate distance for you. Spread your fingers. Lengthen through your arms. Lengthen through your spine. Let there be space between your arms and your head. So you can take a nice wide stance here. Breathe into your belly. Slowly bring your right foot forward and drop your left knee to the ground. Bring your right hand to your low back and come into an easy twist. You can stay here, hand on the back, chest towards the right. You can extend your right arm up towards the ceiling, like your left hand and right arm are reaching away from each other. And if you desire, you can lift the back knee. Bring your hand down, knee down. Bring your right knee back and slowly lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, roll open, cobra pose. And exhale, come into downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Notice your pace of breathing, the heat in your body. Step your left foot forward and your right knee comes down. And bring your left hand to the low back. You can stay here. You can extend your left fingers up towards the ceiling as you press firmly into the right hands, or you can lift the right knee.
As you exhale, bring your hand down and step your back foot forward. Fold in, soft knees, hold your elbows, take three breaths. You can shake your head, you can wiggle your hips, spread your toes. You bring your hands to your hips and then come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up over your head. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Take an extra breath here. Feel yourself in mountain pose, firmly planted through the feet. Effortless in the upper body. Breathe in and reach your arms up. As you exhale, hold at the hips. Bring your hands down and step the left foot back. Come into a high lunge. Your legs can be less bent or more bent. Bring your arms up. And then drop your back heel, come into warrior two. Back foot parallel to the back of your mat. Right knee bent over the right ankle. Arms reaching away, just like in our twist. Reach your arms away from each other. Bring your left hand to your left leg and reach your right arm back without changing the legs. Feel warm. Inhale, come upright. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Step to plank pose or step to your hands and your knees. And then lower all the way down. Even if you practice chaturanga, touch your belly down, touch your chest down, and then breathe in. Stretch out the front of your body. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Take an extra breath. You can exhale out your mouth. Step your left foot forward and slowly come up to a high lunge. Situate your legs so you feel balanced. Reach your arms up. And then transition slowly, mindfully into warrior two legs. Left toes facing forward, right, to, right toes facing to the right. Reaching your fingers away from each other. Space for your neck. You can look forward. Then bring your right hand to your leg and reach your left arm back. Stretch out the side body. And then come upright, breathe in fully. And then exhale, bring your hands down and step your right foot forward. Situate your feet, hands to your hips, and then come up all the way to standing. Reach your arms up over your head. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We'll do that again. Inhale, arms up. Feet pressing down as you extend towards the sky. Exhale, hold at your hips. Hold forward. Step your left foot back. Bend the right knee and slowly come upright. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then move your legs open to warrior two. Right knee moves to the right. Engage the left thigh. Bring your left hand to your leg and right arm reaches back. Stretching out through the right ribs. Come upright, pause, breathe in. And then bring your hands down. Step your right foot back or right knee back and lower all the way to your belly with control. Slowly lowering down. Take a deep breath in, stretch out the belly. Resist the floor. And then come into downward facing dog. Exhale out your mouth. And then step your left foot forward. Come upright. High lunge. Then drop your back heel. Open yourself up. Right hand to your leg. Left arm reaching back. Keep the left knee moving forward as you extend back through the left arm. Come upright. Pause. And then bring your hands down. Step your right foot forward. Situate your feet, spread your toes, hands to your hips. Come all the way up, tuck your tailbone. Reach your arms up, hands to heart. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, sweep out and up, breathe in. Exhale, bow towards yourself, hands on the ground. Left foot back. Come upright. Open yourself to warrior two. And then reverse your warrior. Left hand on the leg, right arm reaching back. 
Upright, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step yourself to plank pose or to all fours. Lower with control. Belly down, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Stretch out the front of the body. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe out your mouth. Left foot forward. Come upright for a high lunge. And then open yourself to a warrior two. Try and be a little more fluid. Right arm to the leg. Left arm reaching back. And then come upright. Bring your hands down. And we'll step back. Come into child's pose. Knees apart, feet together. And you can use your hands as a little bit of a prop here. Stacking your fists or resting your forehead on your stacked hands. Exhale out your mouth. Notice your heartbeat and your breath. Feel like you're sinking into the ground, trusting the ground, cooling yourself off with this passive pose. Slowly come upright and sit down. Extend your legs out and sit firmly here for a moment. Press your hands down. If they reach, if not, your fingertips extend up through the spine. Sit bones pressing down, crown reaching up. Release, bring your left foot in and twist. Right hand around the leg, left hand back. Keep the right foot flexed, keep the right leg active. And twist your spine. Resist your right hand and left leg. Maybe look over the left shoulder. And then come back to center. Switch your sides. Left leg out, right foot in. Twist, keep the left leg firmly on the ground. Left hand around the right knee. Press your right leg out into your hand and try and draw your leg in with your hand. Twisting around your core. And come to center. The rest of the practice can be done on your back or seated. So you can come all the way down, finding a comfortable position, maybe your knees touching, or in butterfly or shavasana. Or you can remain upright, seated, as long as your posture feels comfortable, sustainable. Take a few moments to get yourself comfortable, settled, Bring your awareness to the space between your belly button and your rib cage. A place in your body that really freely moves as you breathe. Bring your awareness there. Notice its natural movements. Imagine the color yellow, like the sun. Imagine 
the feeling of the sun touching your skin. And how it warms your whole body. Yellow light, bright light, and warmth throughout your body. Nourishing, invigorating, warmth and brightness from the sun. Feel this warm brightness without clenching your face. Relax your face, receive this power, the power of the sun. Imagine that a few clouds come in, obscuring the sun's brightness just a little bit until your body start to cool. And then take a deep breath into your nose and then exhale out your mouth so your body relaxing and cooling. The warmth of the sun, the brightness moves in as you inhale. Calling in, cooling, relaxing energy as you exhale. Two more, inhale. Let your breath return to a natural state. Feel your body more peaceful, more harmonized. If you're laying down, you can slowly make your way upright, seated. We'll meet here in a tall but relaxed seat. Hand on your heart, hand on your belly, honor your breath, honor your heart. Honor this power of transformation that resides within us. Bring both hands together, bow and honor yourself, your practice, each other. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me.